it's the way to go if you want to do some cool blues backups on the fiddle. And it's super easy, super cool, because um, you can't just be soloing the whole time when you're doing blues. I mean, you can play a melody and you can take a solo, but what happens if there's other people who are going to play? You just stand in the shadows, you sit on your hands, what do you do? Well, you have a cool part you can play in the, in the backups, and this is one of them in, in some styles of the blues. It's called the Boogie Woogie. It comes from some of the earliest um, forms of the blues, I think, way back in ragtime in the late 1800s and stuff, uh, in the vaudeville and these kind of things. I think these things come from the Boogie Woogie. It was big on piano music, especially, piano blues. But we can do it on the fiddle, too. And in the key of D, it's super easy. Um, without going into too much music theory behind the whole mess, um, this is the 1, 4, and 5, if you know about that stuff, in the key of D. Uh, D is the first chord in the key of D, of course, so it's D, E, F, G is the fourth chord, and A is the fifth chord. And if you don't know much about that, uh, I'll have stuff on the site to teach you more about the number system. But, take it from, from me right now that D, the key of D, D is the first one. And it's super easy. Let me get close to the, close to, so you can see what I'm doing. It's D and A mixed together at the same time. you got to aim your bow just right. Alright? If you can do that successfully, you can play the boogie woogie. So it's D and A together twice, and then D with B1 on the A string. Together though. Now I got a little overdrive on the, on the amp here, and that's creating some intermodulation distortion. You hear another note way below. Bah, bah, hear that? If I get rid of the distortion, that kind of goes away. Let's see here. Well, I think the distortion is cool. I'm adding it. So, and that's another thing. We, call, we talked about that in, in the primer on distortion violin. But, um, so you got it so far. It's D and A twice. That's the boogie. And then D and B twice. And if you're new to this kind of stuff, it takes a little bit of practice fingering one string, but keeping the bow on two strings. It's a little odd at first, but if you're really sure about what strings you're on, you can do a straight bolt playing, it's cool. Rhythmically, we can do this on a straight rhythm. One and two, and one and two, and, or we can do it kind of lopsided, which is called swing or shuffle in the blues. It's long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short, long. Now the cool part about that is it's not exact. Some would say roughly it's about two-thirds on the first stroke and one-third of the beat on the second stroke. But any blues or jazz player knows that that's not exactly the case always either. It depends on the tempo, the style with the ism or schism within the blues, um, sometimes the weather, it can do a lot of variables. Sometimes in certain styles, in the earliest rock and roll stuff, you'll hear on, on Elvis Presley recordings and Chuck Berry recordings, sometimes the drummer would swing or shuffle way like cha, 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 cha. The guitar player would do almost straight. Cha, 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 cha. Not exactly 50 50, but close to it. The piano player would be going one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, da, 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 and it all mixed together in the same song and the same band. As long as they ended up on the beats together, it doesn't matter so much. It's kind of cool and it all rubs together. So don't worry about that stuff. But you have straight and shuffle. Music is usually either or. And often in the blues, it's the shuffle. So you got to get used to that. If you're a classically trained player, just try and play along with recordings and get the, the, the looseness of the swing feel or the shuffle. So, now we taught you that in the key of D. You can also do it on the G and D strings. As I mentioned, that is the four chord in the key of D, which is used in the blues. And, of course, on the A and E strings, same thing. Now, in the little ditty you heard me play at the beginning of this uh, little, little uh, tutorial, I did some extra stuff every now, now and then again. I did, I went one pass and went to low two. Low two with open D. You can mix up the order of them a little bit. Do that on the G if you want. A. 
those three chords are the main ones in most blues in the key of D. So we we'll have other keys that'll be a little tougher, but the key of D for Boogie Woogie is perfect. And the key of G is pretty popular, the key of A is pretty popular, so other um, chords, other keys are not quite as easy for Boogie Woogie. This is the open string version, that's all I'm going to cover here. But you can do this in any key, it's just a little tougher. Or, you just got to be careful with your intonation because there's no open strings. But the key of D, you're in the club, uh, Boogie Woogie. And it sounds like Boogie Woogie, doesn't it? Boogie Woogie Boogie Woogie Boogie Woogie Boogie. Got the idea? So boogie woogie, it's an easy backup part you can do behind other players while they're taking their turn soloing or improvising and making up their own version of the melody. So I hope that helps get you started with something cool. And these video, this video series is meant to increase your coolness factor exponentially. Hope that helps. See you in the next video.